the survey results are in. The board and I want to thank you, all of you who participated. Results have shown that half of our church family is ready to come back right away to gather in our building for Sunday services. And so it is with my pleasure to announce that we are reopening the doors at Abundant Life Chapel Sunday for Sunday morning service on July 5th. That's right. That's next Sunday. Our service time uh, for the summer will change beginning next week uh, from 1045 to 1030. So we'll... Next Sunday, be sure to attend or tune in at 10.30. You'll want to set it on your calendars, mark it on your calendars, and set your clocks. Our gatherings on Sunday mornings will look and feel a bit different from what we're used to prior to COVID-19. Here are a few things that you will need to know if you plan on attending our Sunday service. Number one, everyone will be required to pre-register beforehand. And the deadline will be Friday at 5 p.m. prior to the Sunday service. We are using a, an online platform called Eventbrite. There will be a link provided on our website uh, on the news alert COVID-19 uh, that's located at the top banner of our page of our website. We are required to keep a list of names of attendees for up to 21 days in case of a COVID outbreak. And so if you have not, and, and so if you don't have access to the internet, I want to tell you, you can register by calling the church office at 204-345-2934. Again, the deadline each week is Friday at 5 p.m. Next thing we want to let you know about is that unfortunately, we will not be able to fellowship in the foyer before and after the service. However, we do recognize that this is an important part of our gatherings, and so we want to encourage you to do so outside. We do request that everyone maintains a six-foot or two-meter social distancing protocol, especially uh, on our church property. If you're part of a family unit, well, obviously the, the social distancing doesn't apply, but any of those that are outside of your family unit, please please uh, maintain that six foot uh, uh, perimeter. And, and the reason being is that churches can be fined if they're not ab abiding by the, the rules and regulations put out by our government. Number three, review the health and screening questions by clicking on the red News Alert COVID-19 banner on our website before reserving your seats or attending our services. We also have information there for those that are traveling, whether domestically or internationally. As we get started as, uh, as a church meeting on Sunday mornings, we will be going over some of those screening questions as you enter the building, just so that people get used to that kind of protocol. And the last thing we want to let you know is that if you're feeling ill for any reason, you know what, it's okay to stay home. Please stay home and join us online. Here's what church will look like any given Sunday morning for the time being. Good morning, Pastor James. I see, oh yes, you're registered. Come on in. Good morning. Welcome to Abundant Life Chapel. We're glad you're here. We ask that you would sanitize your hands if you happen to need uh, offering bulletins, they are here. You may take them, and you could, uh, if you want to contribute today, we also have a tune for you. And I'd like to escort you in. to Abundant Life Chapel online. We're so glad that you could join us today. If you'd like to know more information about us, you can check us out. We'd like to ask everyone to wait so we can escort you out uh, personally.
The protocols we have put in place are in accordance to the Manitoba Health and Provincial Guidelines. Our insurance company expects us to follow those guidelines. Churches have been discouraged from uh, congregational singing at this time. However, we as a board have discussed this and we have decided to make some provision for those who want to engage in singing as part of the worship experience. Those who wish to sing may do so, but you must wear a mask while singing. The board and I want to thank you for your compliance in following these protocols at this time. It's a trying time for us all, and the decisions we've had to make as a leadership team were not easy. So listen, there's half of our congregation that's choosing to remain home uh, at this time instead of meeting corporately. So let's all, in the spirit of unity, uh, treat each other with respect and honor for one another's decisions. Whether we are gathered or scattered, scattered, we are still the church. We are God's family, and we are a family. And, and as a family, we are to continue to express our love, honor, and respect for one another. Thank you, everyone. God bless.